Hi there, it's Emma from Emma's Cards and Paper Crafts. Today I am making a um, swap for the um, UK and Ireland demonstrators page. Um, so I believe there's like 20 something, maybe 26, 28 of us taking part in this swap. Um, and we're focusing on the new catalogue. Um, so I'm going to be making something with the Snowy Wonder DSP today. Well, the mainly the DSP. Um, so I've made this card in lots of different colourways which I will show you at the end but I'm going to show you how to make it first. So first things first we're going to take a standard size card base and we are going to use the tone on tone colour so we're going to use Poppy Parade on our Poppy Rate Parade card and we're going to take the, um, the little like snowy stamp from the case from the stamp set and we're going to go down the two edges just randomly with the snowy bits completely different random angles all over generally on the two outer thirds doesn't have to be perfect something like that down one side and we can do the same down the other side Yeah, snowflakes don't have to be perfect because when is snow ever perfect? So because I've been making multiples of this card, I have left my um, stamps on my Stamparatus, which I know Stampin' Up don't sell them anymore, but I have been using my Stamparatus for this project just because I'm doing multiples. I want to make sure they're all exactly the same. So I've just gone down the edges there. I'm going to do a tiny bit more on this side, I think, but I've just got that much ink on my stamp accidentally around the edges. I'm just going to give it a wipe off with a baby wipe just so I don't get lots of ink on my hands. So. There we go. And then I'm going to use my baby wipe just to wipe off the worst of the ink off of that stamp. Pop it to one side. So by the time you see this video, um, everybody should already have received all of their swaps. I'm recording this well in advance. So I shouldn't be spoiling the surprise for anybody. So we're going to pop the poppy parade ink to one side for now and we're going to take a strip of our DSP so I've got the poppy parade and garden green and I think it's got a tiny bit of um, is it I can't think which colour it is petal pink in it that's the one and I'm going to glue this down on the centre part which is why we didn't stamp the centre part because there was no need to So all of the measurements for the DSP and things I will put in the description box. That completely slid to one side, didn't it? There we go. There we go. Right. I've also fussy cut out one of my snow globes. This is going to be the centerpiece for our card. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Um. So, have prepped as much as I can of this in advance to make recording easier because the children have still not gone back to school yet. So there is lots of children noise still in my house. So, all of the dimensional backs. Oh, my finger stuck to it. I'm going to pop this somewhere right about in the middle. Oh, I accidentally just bent that corner up a little bit. Just carefully smooth that down again. 
sorry about that, I had a child enter the room, a squeaky door handle. Um, next up we have the white loose snowflakes and we're going to glue a few of these in our snow globe to make it look like it's snowing in our snow globe. So I'm just going to pop a few random dots of glue. Probably don't want too much because we don't want them sliding all over the place. It's a bit of a big dot at the end, so I think that one calls for a big snowflake. Grab some tweezers because these are not the easiest things to pick up. Oh, that one just pinged, don't know where it went. There we go. That big blob of glue definitely needs a big snowflake. And these snowflakes are so staticky, they just stick to my tweezers. And then they don't let go. Mm. Here we go, next one. And there we go. And then one last small one. There we go, like that. Close those up. And then next up is our little bit of stamping that will go on the inside of our card. So I'm going to pop my card to the side a minute. I've got a mat of um, very vanilla, that's the word I was looking for. And I'm just going to grab my stamp allowances. So, I'm trying to grab one of these magnets off the bottom quickly. So. I've already lined all my stamps up exactly where I want them and then just pop my card right up in the corner and I pop my magnet down on it in between the two stamps let's just make sure it's not in the way and then grab my poppy parade and I'm going to ink up all of this extra well and then don't worry about this little corner extra because that won't even touch the paper Make sure we get it good smooth down. The good thing about using a stamparatus is that if you don't get perfect writing the first time, you can just stamp again. Um, I'm going to go over my writing a smidge, I think, because it's a little tiny bit blotchy. So, because it, you know it's going to be in the exact same place again, no way of possibly messing it up. There we go, perfectly crisp now. So I'm going to carefully. Our magnet out of the way. These magnets, if you've never used stamp presses before, are super super strong. You do not want to drop one against it because it will make an awful noise and mess. And if you get your finger pinched in between it, it hurts a lot. Right, so I'm just going to give that a quick clean off. Pop that to one side again. So, oh, let me just put my magnet back. And I have heard of magnets shattering if you drop them and they hit the magnetic board too hard. So it's another reason to be super careful with them. I know some people have used washi tape to wrap around them to give them sort of like a little tab to pull it up by. It doesn't make it a lot, lot easier. And I have got very inky fingers from Poppy Parade and it doesn't come off for ages. So we'll just have to live with that. And then we're going to stick in our... Um, matte layer for the inside I have to say though this new sweet the um snowy wonder sweet or snowy scenes it's got two different names i think the dsp is the snowy scenes and the stamps and dies are snowy wonder but i do love it it's like my new favorite 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 sweet so it's got snowflakes and it has penguins and it has everything in it everything that i love in a stamp set so there we have it there's our final poppy parade card but not only do um have i done this in poppy parade i've done this in several different colorways they're all um bagged up ready to go but here is the pumpkin pie one and then we've also got 
um, Daffodil Delight. So all of the, there's another Daffodil Delight one. We've got all the different snow globes. They've all got different images in the snow globes. I have doubled up on a couple of them. So this is in Pool Party. So that's another double. And we've got Garden Green. Double that one. So it's another um, Poppy Parade one, but it's a slightly different one. So it's a big snow globe, that one, the snowman. And that's a smaller one. We have the Penguin. And then we have another snowman, the same as um, that one there. And then we've also got um, two slightly different ones in, um, what do we say it was? Petal Pink. I always used to get muddled up between Petal Pink and Blushing Bride. Now that Blushing Bride has gone, I'm still getting confused, even though I can really forget that one. So that is all the different colourways of the exact same project I've done. Um, just gonna, oh, lastly, I'm just going to stamp the um, Stampin' Up! logo on the back, um, just for copyright reasons. So I use my verse mark, and I always just stamp it on the bottom there. So it does take a few seconds for it to appear up. If I hold it up a little bit higher, you can just about see it there. So it's nice and subtle when you use the verse mark. Um, I've managed to get a little bit of something stuck to the back of that card. There we go, it's coming off. There we go. So there we go, there is my card for the swaps. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video and I hope you'll come back again soon. Thank you for watching, bye bye.